quickly. <laughs> I know. I was like, screw this. I'm going. To I'm the out of here. So how did you end up in the in the Philippines? Because the next movie we're going to talk about that. It's right there. The Need Along. Oh, Need Along. Yes. How um, did that happen? Actually, well, five or six years ago, one of my friends from the Philippines was visiting Japan for a family vacation mm. and they were like saying so have you been to the Philippines before did you know that you're like still kind of famous and I'm like I I went to Cebu only once with mm. like five or six girls like 10 plus years ago and I, I really didn't see myself popular because mm. You know, I haven't, I haven't been back ever since mm. but that friend was like telling me that you still have a name why don't you just come for a vacation and see how it goes and she works in a um new as a newscaster in one okay. of the um tv's uh channel and then she was like mm. saying maybe you could guess in some radio shows or do some magazine mm. and i was like okay if it's gonna work out why not so i took like a two week long vacation went to the philippines everything was just amazing like mm. i i've never been to manila i had a bad image of manila actually mm. and then i was like oh maybe i don't know if i could like you know stay there and work or whatever but when i act when i guessed it as the radio show everybody was like i think the studio crashed the radio crashed really? because lots of people were like <laughs> tuning in wow how is our connection then <laughs> uh, oh my still God. strong so that started my career and then i shot a mag I, fhm philippines and oh, then yeah. i got the record of the most selling magazine wow of history awesome. in the philippines philippine mm. fhm so i was like whoa maybe i really could do business here and then one of the bosses or my partners who worked in the lounge was mm. listening to the radio he actually contact my manager saying maybe we want to work with maria mm. and i was saying i had a lounge in japan and if it would be nice if i could do the same thing in the philippines because they mm. didn't have like those um how do i say this like gentlemen's club so i thought it was a fraternity we met up we did few meet and greets and you know meetings and then that's how everything started okay that's how it started and then immediately you're in a high budget festival movie yes mmff the one in year very big film festival mm. in the philippines one of the managers knew the director there mm. and then he wanted to have he was looking actually for a character who could speak japanese or chinese and had to be a daughter of the yakuza the role that yeah. he was looking and then when he heard about me he was like oh my god that's perfect you're from japan mm. you know the history and then the story of nila lang was about um a famous yakuza and mm. then that spirit hunting up people so he's like can you play the role of the daughter of the yakuza and mm. i was like sure but am i gonna be mad all the time or screaming at people and killing people and he's like yeah, yeah. aren't you good at that <laughs> i'm like okay my image i <laughs> uh, see we do see a, a a development here from uh invitation only to violent Bob, where she has to be violent yeah. with the swords and then mm -hmm. took their species where she has to kill everyone <laughs> she is uh working around and then so it's yeah. funny you say that luko that... Mm -hmm. Because there are two scenes in Nilalang where Maria is rather violent that I quite love. Yeah. So the first is mm. when you pick up both of the guns at the mm. bar and you just oh, start and then the shit out of the bottles. <laughs> I love that scene. Actually, yeah. that scene, I was like, all the stress went away. Yeah. I was like, if I really could do in real life, how amazing would it be yeah so you know that's where that's where you took that hate for bottles that you had from tokyo species yeah. <laughs> like you imagine all fish stuffs in there right yeah <laughs> and then screaming at the same time so it was mm. like really good experience like i mean you know it was really really fun yeah really fun cool so and how second about scene. Yo, sorry mm. okay. sorry i'm gonna cut no, it i'm sorry oh yeah, sorry you're yeah, right you have two scenes yeah. my, my mistake the second scene was when you defeated that um, monster in oh, the, yeah. in the, the temple. Mm. And in my review, I remember writing that Maria, uh, your character, was the first person to have ever defeated that monster yes. uh, mm -hmm. of all the people who have tried. And I thought, fair enough, I'll give you that. That's pretty enough. cool. That's pretty cool. So 
yeah, that was um, Nil Along is a quite an interesting film because if I remember correctly, mm. it it either was nominated or won seven awards. Yes, but only lasted one day in the theater until all these people on Twitter started going, why is it being kicked out for? Because it was replaced with all these other arty farty movies that no one was yeah. interested mm. in. And then thanks to Twitter, it got back in the cinema. It got back, yes. Everybody yeah. hashtag mm. bring back Nina Long. Yes. Hashtag save Nina Long and something like that. It was really weird. We were all confused also. We got like six awards, but then I think it's like a culture thing. This is personal. This is what I think. Mm. But it's like, um, it's a cultural thing, thing, I think, because first of all, it's about demons and then people are Catholic there. And then it was Christmas season. And then I think they all wanted to watch Holy Jody movies. Mm. So I think it got kicked out, even though we got lots of awards. And then even though we had a lot of awards, I think none of the um, characters won the best acting or shows. It was all like music mm. and like those... Um, uh cg cinematography i think it was yeah 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 so all that so it was kind of like a big question to us but then we were talking i think we were like saying maybe that's the reason and then okay, i good. heard from other people that the filipinos really don't like horror movies like they do but then not too much in mm. those christmas season and they were just saying it was a bad time okay so they didn't want to stress during christmas yeah no demons no killing on. they're christmas very day. good uh, the, the filipinos are very at least uh, the the filmmakers are very good in making very romantic movies oh yeah know? rom-com yes. and then um everybody it's like um telenovela like everybody screaming mm. at each other crying and killing and cheating and yes yeah nice. <laughs> And Nita Lung is none of that. Mm -hmm. So I guess that was the issue with the... Yeah, I think that... It's a timing thing. You know, I, it was really a timing mm. thing, I think. So how about well, the tattoo? Like... Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was gonna... No, no, actually, the tattoo is a good question to ask. So yes, please go to that one. Oh, but you, had a, you had probably a follow-up question. It was more no, about... No, I was just going to say, my Filipino friend told me what Nita Lung meant, and I completely forgot. Uh, can oh, you... what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean? Again, can you remember? Like... The title. Ghost. Ghost? Oh, yeah, it just means get, ghosts. Something like that, like spirits or spirits. something like that. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's the same as the the James Wan movie, Malignant. You know, oh. it's like it, it very it, very explanatory. But the fact that it means ghost. Or something like that. It sums up the whole Spirit story thing. of the yeah. The okay. Movie. But then uh then okay, well, that's interesting. Mm. The 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 in the movie you have this humongous tattoo. Do we yeah. have a, an image of that, or um, did it did it pass? Uh, uh, give me a moment to to find one. And uh, so, right. if you could just talk among yourselves, I, I will. Uh, I had it. my own tattoo, of mm. course, and then they just wanted to like a touch up, like more. Mm. And it was they painted it in like a spray paint. Spray paint. Yeah. So they. Act actually spray painted my whole back with like a tree and like weird images mm. and i myself have tiger yeah and a lily how big and... is the tiger on, on your back because you have a quite oh there a... oh all right so they really want to have like a full back mm. tattoo because like you know i think it's simple Yakuza is your tiger image. still there it's somewhere they kind of like painted over it oh what happened <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so but they did keep it, so that's it's I think still somewhere in there. around here and here, and then they painted some more flowers and trees. And but I think that was a good choice because most of the people, when they think of yakuza, they have Japanese tattoos yeah. all over their body. So I think that's what they wanted to express, and especially when I'm like um, playing a role of yakuza's daughter. Mm. I think it was correct to have. But that's like a full tattoo. back to tattoo. Full uh, back, yeah. Tattoo, tattoo for the movie, but the the one you have, how big is that one? Um, also quite large. That's right? quite large, also. Like where does where does it start? In the <laughs> Dan's favorite shot. I love no, that. You know, so. I was just trying to say because uh, here is another shot of Mar of a tattoo that Marie has got uh, on her neck and um and down your chest. I think there's another tattoo here. You can't. Mm. I'm yeah. pointing at it. And you can't see. What that's that's at. like the the the, the, uh, the yakuza way to have yeah. like also the, the, the half, chest. Yes, yes, yes. Like these two halves on the on the chest. Yeah. I hope so, I can't get a better shot. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, yeah, 
but the the one that you have on your back where does like it's how big like, is it? where does it start um it starts from maybe around my shoulder a little bit shoulder less blade? here okay. to around a little lower than my waist okay so that's, that's quite a large yeah. yeah that's quite a large tattoo but they just wanted to cover everything mm. so i was like okay sure i mean the image fits perfectly so mm. why not true mm -mm -mm. but it was hard not i they were telling me specifically do not take a bath like the paint's gonna go so but the, they they but i guess they airbrushed it then airbrushed it and then put hairspray to make it okay, like yeah, you know yeah. stay but when I, whenever I wanted to take a shower, hmm. they said, don't wash your body. Don't scrub anything. It will come off. And I'm like, how can I not take a bath and not how, how shower? Long, how long did you not shower? The whole week. The whole week. So but I, I took a shower, of course. So you did all but the action and all the hard work and all the sweating. And then, for and then a you week, didn't shower for no, a week. I showered, but I couldn't <laughs> use any body soap or okay. like actually wash it. Just like okay. water all right so. that was hard all right and stressful and i i'm sure i smelled <laughs> yeah, you probably smelled pretty nice yeah, yeah. so i don't know do did we see it in the movie that everybody slowly walks away, walks from, away her? from her <laughs> i'm that's convinced so now that's why maria wins that fight at the end against that dude because he's yeah. just taken one whiff and gone nah, i'm out of here yeah, he just gone the other way. True, yeah. true, true. oh my god um, yeah. How would you rate that in regards to fun uh, mm -hmm. shooting mm -hmm. that film uh, against, say, Eroti Bot or even mm -hmm. Tokyo Species? How would you mm -hmm. rate Nilalang in that group? What, what did you say? Oh, how did I? How, the, as your you experience put all the together, like mm -hmm. the, the Eroti Bot and mm -hmm. Tokyo Species and Nilalang, mm -hmm. which one in, in a rating, uh, which one do you did you enjoy more enjoy? filming? Enjoy? That's hard, but I guess. Or in comparison, that to be on a bigger budget Filipino set besides like a Japanese oh, set for okay. Tokyo species. That's and the really Taiwanese hard. one, let's the say. The Taiwanese one. Taiwanese one, not really, because it was such a short spam. Hmm. It was like three days. Yeah. So I it was it was a rush. I got hmm. there, we shot for three days, and I had to leave. So it was fun experience, lots of experience, but not like too memorable that hmm. I would like, you know, but I think maybe Nina Long, since it was like my first overseas film that I shot for a film festival, mm. and I attended those like parade and stuff like that. A parade even. Parade even, yeah. And that was a good experience. And then mm. like the movie wise, it was fun also because I we got to go to this like haunted building real haunted buildings they Ooh. say and then they like we could hear noises and <laughs> the scene where i defeated the demon mm. that was the famous um building that's been saying that's a that famous like, haunted building you actually that's shot what they within? told me yeah okay so he, they were like saying maybe you could hear like voices or the, the lights turning <laughs> on yeah so you stopped all of a sudden like director what are you doing i heard cut. i'm pretty <laughs> sure i heard <laughs> like, yeah what what and it was like so scary but then that was like really memorable also and then that one week shot was like my first long mm. shot too so it was like really every day every day was something new how and about the 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 choreography for that um, I took lessons for kendo because mm. it was a sword, sword mm. action scene. So I used to do judo before. Oh, really? So they were like saying maybe you kind of like remember how to do those judo moves or the fighting scenes, mm. and that was okay. But then like the sword scene, I really didn't know how to like you know mix and match. So the kendo teacher, I remember, I had to take lessons with him like two three days and okay. then just showed me how to like hold it right hmm. or like you know those stuff hmm. movements simple movements but then when we shot the actual hmm. movie we didn't do any of this uh, movement that the teacher told me oh, so really? i was like oh you filipinos <laughs> no, <it's more> like, <laughs> you tricked me <laughs> i guess it's more that you just have the feel that you yeah, know I how to so. use it yeah. and then Marie, did you get to provide. see that movie in the cinema pardon did you get to see Nilalang in the cinema on the big see? screen? Yes, yes. We had the we have a screening. We had screening. And how 
how does it feel? I've asked Wilco the same question as a director, but as mm. an actor or oh, actress, yeah. how does it feel to see yourself on this massive screen? Uh, considering Very... you're the second, well, you're the second biggest person in the movie because of, um, I can't remember the gentleman's name. So that's a big mm. feeling. How was it? It it was like a dream. Like I didn't really understand like me, myself, watching myself in the big screen and then acting and then like doing stuff. And then it was like, it was, I, it was something that I, how, how can I explain? It's so hard to explain, like weird feeling, like happy, of course, but then weird. And then it's like a strange feeling because I'm not used to it. Yes. But then that kind of made me like, oh, maybe if I could do it again, it would be nice. And like, you know, kind of like made made me happy. And especially for uh, women who like to have a small face, all of a sudden you have a very <laughs> big head you're looking at, like in the in the theater. You're like, uh, can we uh, can we zoom out? Um, a little bit? Zoom out on my face, please. <laughs> yes. So another another question because um, you know Philippines are is a rather uh, religious country yeah. and that movie not only is it got a lot of horror it's also got a, quite yeah. a few steamy scenes in it as well was that film actually shown uncut in the philippines or did no. they have to modify it i think they had to cut some gore scenes hmm. and it was rated 15 i think okay so not 18 Eight. so 15 they yeah they dropped it to 15 i think hmm. so the but sex I, made I it through think... okay but the gore was cut yeah the gore had yeah. to be cut yeah I mean, that was kind uh. of weird Cannot have the gore. Yeah. And I remember they had to change a few scenes also because the director was like, the director wanted to do it more gore or like more. <laughs> always. Like, Directors always. always want more gore. <laughs> but then they're all like saying, you, it's not going to make it through the whole cinema because it's mm. too gore. And then they're religious and all that stuff. Of course, yeah, the cinema has so, to yeah, play and it. Yeah, then it had to, have yeah. to prove it. Mm. So oh, I, I, I think that. that was one of the reasons too that it got pulled out once mm, from okay. the theater. 